Unusual records from an unusual shop, run by folklorist Warren Fay. Well, Warren, sorry to interrupt your phone call there, by the way. I've just been looking around the shop. We have quite an amazing collection, but I know she doesn't have any pop music. This is obviously a deliberate thing. Well, no pop music, no commercial music. It's sort of a bit of a weirdo shop. A weirdo shop. The, the actual collection grew out of your own personal taste, did it not? Yeah, it still is, actually. I only stock here at the shop the sort of music that I like. If I don't like it, it doesn't get into the racks. It goes straight back to the supplier. Is, is it hard to run a shop that's just based on your own taste? Yes, <laughs> in a word. Uh, people keep coming in the shop and sort of uh, being a bit disillusioned or surprised that they can't find the latest Skyhooks or ABBA or whatever, and they sort of frantically go through the racks try and find something that's familiar and they keep going and the further they go the further they get lost because they just don't know any of the names. But that's good because some people find something that they like and they come back. Hey sweet mama, your daddy got them deep Take it away boys, take it away. Folkways, uh, calling a shop Folkways was probably a mistake except that it had some nice um, relationships with the, the label Folkways, which was already established as a specialist label, but uh, folk music, most people think of folk music, they immediately think of Peter, Paul and Mary, Joni Mitchell, you know, the, uh, Pete Seeger, but that's not what we're about. We're about, essentially, the sort of music that people make, uh, not the sort of music that are made by big companies turn a buck. people out there who play sort of banjos, acoustic instruments I suppose, or make their own instruments even, like dulcimers, play tin whistles, just make music to share with people and not just rely on going to a record player and sticking a record on and listening to something. I'd say that 90% of my customers here would be musicians or singers of some sort. Well, I don't want your millions, mister. Uh -huh. If trouble was money, baby, I would be a millionaire. Well, Warren, you've proved, I think, with such a wide variety of specialist music that there is a market for this stuff, even though it's small. Why aren't the, the major companies putting it out themselves? Well, some of them do put it out, but it gets lost in the catalogues. And a lot of the companies who produce material, uh, say in England or Europe or whatever, the local body just doesn't bring it in. They're just not interested. Do you get much cooperation from the companies then? No, they don't give a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're into selling bits of plastic and they really don't care what's on the bit of plastic or who it is or whatever, you know? As I walked out one morning fair Came away, all the way Then I met Miss Nancy Blair Proud for South Australia We're not like a regular import shop. We don't bring in sort of the latest thing by air into Australia. We don't worry about that. In fact, we bring nothing in by air. We bring in things like uh, records of whales burping or uh, <laughs> how to sort of, uh, you know, just these strange folkways records that are really weird. Cajun music. Well, this is a sort of the French Louisiana blacks and they play sort of very strange way out music. And you know, somebody should be bringing it in because musicians need uh, the influences of different roots music we supply. Well, Warren, a number of the albums you have here I would imagine are only available in your shop, so you probably rely pretty heavily on your mail catalogue. Yeah, it's, well there are a lot of people, Australia is such a big country and you know, lots of people scattered all around the place and the local record store at Woolamakanka 
has the latest ABBA and the latest sort of uh, Slim Dusty and about that's it, you know. So a lot of people stranded out there um, write to us and we have a, a mail order catalogue and we shoot it out to them and they order. Easy as that.